In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a lollybot with Swaybot, and this will let you get easy lollybots that you can use in Fortnite and troll your friends with, and you can see every single skin in the entire game and every single cosmetic all the way up to the current season, as well as unreleased cosmetics as well. Before I start the video, I just want to thank you guys for 45,000 subscribers, it really means a lot, and let's get right back into the video. So to get Swaybot, you just want to join his server, and I'll put the link in the description of this video for the Discord server. So once you're in the server, you want to go down to the Start a Bot channel down here, and there's going to be two types of Swaybots that you can get. So the first one is going to be Start Bot, which just gets you a normal pre-made Swaybot, and sort of similar to Recon Bot, which is another bot that is pretty popular. But it just gives you a pre-made Swaybot, and this is the easiest method to get a lobby bot. And then the second type of lobby bot is create bot and that's the command for it and this one gives you a custom name lobby bot so you can name it whatever you want you can name it the same as your fortnite name and this one's usually better for trolling but it takes a little bit longer to get and i'm showing both types in this video so you can skip ahead if you want to see create bot but for right now we're doing start bot so this is the easiest way to get a lobby bot so you just want to type in exclamation point start bot and then once you've done that you can go over to your dms and it'll send you a DM just like this. It'll have all the commands for your Swaybot and it'll show the name as well. So once you get your Swaybot like this, the next step is you wanna go into Fortnite and then you wanna friend this exact bot. And you can do this on consoles, PC, and mobile. It works on every single platform. So you're gonna friend 9.swaybot or whatever it says up there. And then when you send the friend request to the specific Swaybot, you can add it as a friend. and then it'll accept your friend request just like this. So once it's accepted your friend request, you can go down, find it in your friends list, and then you can just invite it to your party. And then you just click on accept, just like this. And then if you go back into Fortnite, it'll have joined your party. So the next thing that I like to do with these bots is you wanna promote the bot. So click on it, click on manage, click on make party leader. And then you wanna do the hide command, which is probably the best command that you can do on these lolly bots. So if you type in hide, what this is going to do is it's going to hide the player in your party, all players in your party. And once you do that, you'll only see the lobby bot on the screen. So this will be perfect for YouTube videos and TikToks and all that stuff that you want to showcase on really skins without having other people in your party. So the next thing you want to do is you'll see that the level is currently 999. So if you want to change that, you can do the level command. And then you can change it to whatever level you want. So we make it like level 10 and you'll see that the level has changed level 10. And I'm only going to be showing a few of these commands because if I showed all of them, it would take way too long. So these are just the commands I'm going to be showing right now. So do the skin command. You want to do exclamation point skin and then whatever skin name that you want to get. So let's say we wanted to get the ghoul trooper. You can just do ghoul trooper. And then this will get you the ghoul trooper skin just like this. So the next thing is to get the variants of the ghoul trooper. So let's say you wanted to get the pink version of the school trooper instead of the default version. What you do is you go over here and you type in styles for the skin. So you type in styles and then you type in ghoul trooper. And then it'll show you all the styles for the ghoul trooper like you can see over here. So it's going to say material and then it'll say the different things for materials. So what you want to do is when it does this, you want to type in the number that you want so if we wanted the zombie version we type in two and then this one would equip the zombie version of the ghoul trooper and then if you wanted to get the pink version you do the exact same thing and then you type in three to get the pink version and that would equip the pink ghoul trooper so you can see that now we have the pink ghoul trooper in our lobby and we've done the style command so the next command is going to be the emote command so if you do exclamation point emotes then you can do any emote that you want. So if you want to do the emote laugh it up like this, uh, it'll change it to the laugh it up emote just like that. And then if you want to clear this emote, you want to do exclamation point clear and then type emotes and that'll clear the emote. So there's a few more commands over here. There's a lot of commands that you can t try out on your own, but these are just be the ones that I'm showing you guys today. And now I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the name of your Swaybot and have it something different than the default name, which is a number.swaybot. So the first thing you want to do before you get this custom name Lollybot is you want to make sure you stop this one by typing stop and that'll shut down your current bot. And then you want to go back into the server and you want to type in create bot, exclamation point, create bot, just like this. And then check your DMs and it'll send you a create bot. 
So what it's going to do is it's going to have these two steps. So you can see it says create an alt account. So if you don't already have an alt account, you want to head on over to epicgames.com, go over to the sign in button, and then you want to click down here on sign up. And then you want to do sign up with email. And then it's going to ask you for a display name right over here. So this will be the name that you want your bot to be. So if we want our bot to be called something like create bot or something like that, then you can name it create bot right over there. And then you can just fill out all of this info and click on continue and it'll send you an email and then you can just click on create an account. So I've created my alt account. It's called atomic bot video. It's from a previous video that I did. And this is the bot that we're going to be using. So you want to head on over to your discord and then you want to click on over here and it'll take you over here. So now what you want to do is copy this stuff after the code, just copy this code right over here and then head on back to discord and then paste that code and then it'll create the bot for you. So you can see that the bot is over here and it has the exact same commands as the previous bot did. So I'm not going to show you guys any of these commands, but I'll show you guys how to friend the bot and invite it to your party. So what you want to do is it's the exact same process as the previous bot. You want to copy their name or if you're on mobile console, just type in their name right over here. And then you can friend the bot like this. And then it'll automatically accept your friend request. And you'll see it appearing in your friends list. So now what you want to do is invite it to the party. And then once you've done that, it'll do something like this. So just click on accept. And then it'll join your party. So now that it's joined your party, it'll be in your party. So you can do the exact same commands. You can hide the bot. You can change the skin. You can do pretty much whatever you want. So we've hit the bot. And then similar to the other bot, you can do the level command. It'll change the level. And you can also do the skin command. So it works the exact same way as the other bot does, and it just has a custom name instead. So thank you guys for watching this video. If this helped you guys out, make sure you guys leave a like if you're not already. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want more updates about lobby bots like this, and other things related to lobby bots, and I'll see you guys in the next video.